Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about all things studying, how to study smart and effectively, my best study tips, how I get A's in college, etc. I don't really know what I'm titling this video yet. So basically, this is just the ultimate guide to studying. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into this video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for some study tips. I do want to say that these tips that I'm going to give work best for me. Obviously, everyone is different. Definitely feel free to offer some of these tips to suit your style. There's no one right way to study and I'm just here to give some recommendations as these things have worked for me. I'm gonna divide what we're talking about into a few sections. First off, just general studying tip, finding motivation, etc. And then we're gonna dive into how I study for a test, how I write essays, how I do problem sets, other activities, readings, literally everything. In terms of general tips, my first tip is to plan study sessions in advance and make sure that they are realistic. What I like to do at the end of every night is to plan my work for the next day that way when I wake up after I get ready and everything I know exactly what I want to do and what I want to accomplish that day obviously things change so I do account for flexibility whatever it is just write out what you have to do for that day and what you want to accomplish in addition to writing out a to-do list for the day I do like to block in designated study times on Google Calendar Google Calendar I literally use Google Calendar so much and for me that's just a great way to plan everything out as we have so many things going on all the time as students and even if you're not a student life is just super busy so I like to just designate sometimes for example I end class at 11 30 on Monday so my study block 1 to 3 p.m. and that's just set into my schedule so I think it's also a good way to hold yourself accountable by making these study blocks so along with this I like to set goals for each study session so for example during that same 1 to 3 p.m. study session I have on Mondays I will be like what do I want to accomplish in this two-hour period that could be outlining an essay it could be studying and reviewing one lecture, two lectures, doing like a reading or two. Whatever it is, I do like to set a goal. Sometimes I under budget my time and think I can finish assignments faster. So after setting goals more frequently, I have understood like how long it takes for me to do assignments normally and therefore my goals are now more realistic. So basically, I think it takes some time to see like what a realistic goal for you is and it also depends on the assignment. Just setting goals in general is a form of motivation and when you like accomplish that goal, it obviously obviously feels good, you feel productive, successful. Next up, start work early and start assignments early. I'm sure like literally everyone has told you this in your life, but that is the biggest thing that I have taken away from college. At least for me, all of my assignments always are piling up. It's either like I have no work or I have everything do. So specifically what I do is write out all of my deadlines on my GCAL so I know exactly what is due at each point. That way you know when you can plan in advance, how much you need to study in advance. So basically what I mean by this is you just go through your syllabus at the beginning of the year ideally and then you see all your deadlines and you write them all in your calendar so that way when you're going through the semester or going through the year you can see all of your deadlines really clearly and in advance and it really helps me out because then you go on to the monthly format and you can see everything you need to do for the month you can see everything you need to do for the week so that is my little hack if it's a big assignment my rule of thumb is start at least four to five days earlier if it's just like a reading for class the next day i might do it the day before but in general for essays or whatever i do not want to be grinding last moment because i have done that in the past and i just feel like when you're stressed doing things super close to the deadline you're just gonna feel really overwhelmed it's not gonna be enjoyable to do that assignment and it's not gonna be your best work as a result so also, if I have assignments that are all due in the same week, sometimes I like to make a final schedule or a weekly schedule to just plan out what I'm going to do every day to make sure that I'm starting assignments early because it could just get super overwhelming. Before we get into the next tip, I do want to thank Factor 75 for sponsoring today's video. With Factor 75, you can get fresh ready-made meals delivered directly to your doorstep, which means eliminating meal prep and saving time in your busy schedule, along with studying food fuels the brain, and it is important to have nutritional and filling meals which is exactly what factor 75 provides at affordable costs all meals are fresh designed by dietitians to ensure that all the nutritional qualities are there and are never frozen the menus also update weekly so there's so much variety to choose from you can also go on their website to customize your preferences so truly there's something for everyone i definitely recommend checking out factor 75 today you can use the link in my description for 50 percent off your first box and let's get back into the study tips next general tip is to 
make sure to take a break because even when I'm working for a lot of the day, I do really emphasize prioritizing a break because sometimes you just need to have time off your screen or whatever assignment you're doing and then come back to it and you'll be even more efficient and productive. I think this is just a great way to maximize efficiency. I personally cannot concentrate for more than an hour when I'm writing an assignment or studying. So a break is super beneficial, whether that's just a simple walk, going on your phone. My whole thing is to work smarter, not longer. So taking a break and recharging, resetting is super important. The phrase I was meaning to go and say was work smarter, not harder, not work smarter, not longer. I guess they go hand in hand, but that is just the more popular phrase that y'all probably were thinking. I really like to change up my study spots. If I'm studying the whole day, I like to go to like a new place after two to three hours because I just feel like there's something about being in a new environment where I feel more motivated and more productive and I want to get started on work because my surrounding is different. That's just my personal take. I know a lot of my other friends just prefer to be planted in one library all day. And of course, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I really emphasize keeping my spaces clean. Whatever place you're studying or working at, I think it's super important to keep your study spots clean because lots of studies have shown that you're way more productive and focused and motivated when your spot is clean because it's just a great feeling to work in a spot that's clean rather than something that's so messy and you can barely find anything. Lastly, in terms of motivation for work, I know this can be super hard. Sometimes it may seem like I'm always motivated in work because I film myself working, but no, I lose motivation just like everything else. For that, I think it's important to take a break when literally like nothing is happening up here. Sometimes you just go and study and it's just a bad day and you can't really get anything done. In those days, I just recognize that and I'm like, okay, tomorrow will be a better day and I'll reset and do some self-care instead. But other motivation, taking a break really helps and getting back into it. I sometimes like to watch TED Talks that inspire me. If you have the choice in choosing projects or choosing an essay topic, for example, definitely choose something you're interested in because you'll be more motivated to do that work. With tests and stuff, that's a little bit different, but in terms of essays, you can definitely have more flexibility. I think the greatest thing I do to motivate myself is just adopting a positive mindset, recognizing and remembering my academic and like personal goals. Also going to libraries or studying with friends that hold you accountable is also motivating to me. As I'm editing this video, I forgot to say one of the most important ones. I'm going through finals right now, so it's pretty rough. And I think what's keeping me going is one, being done with everything. Just like knowing that the more time you spend on the assignment, the closer you are to finishing. That's just motivating to me to just get the assignment done. Lastly, for general tips, I do want to say getting good sleep is so, so, so important. I cannot stress this enough. Getting good sleep, eating well, you know, just like basic lifestyle things, caring for yourself is super important and studying well because it just improves your concentration, your focus. Now we're going to move on to how I study for specific types of work and I'm going to reveal all of my secrets. So when I study for tests, the first thing I do is rewrite my notes to relearn the information or make it stick. For example, I will split screen. I will have my notes on one side of the screen and then a blank document on the other side of the screen and I will write the notes, writing out the main ideas, key points, what you think is going to be tested on the exam. Along with this, since some of our lectures and classes are recorded, I might rewatch a part of the lecture that I found confusing that I want to learn more about that I don't know that much about and I need to further remember it. Then along with this I do like to highlight the key information such as like key themes, key terms, key definitions. For me I really like to see like the big picture that really helps me solidify information. Pretty much to memorize material I like to go and read things out loud. Some of my friends think I'm crazy for this but I pretend like it's kind of like a show and I'm just relearning all the information by speaking it like saying it as a skit. That just really helps me relearn and actually understand information rather than just strictly memorizing it. It's really important to understand the material over just like rote memorization because a lot of the times tests are applying your knowledge so if you focus on understanding what is this, why is this important, how does this relate to whatever, that is the most important thing rather than just know the definition by the exact wording. So after I have memorized all my information I do like to write like a mini practice test for myself whether that is just defining key terms, lecture material, or writing specific questions on whatever will be tested. Just any 
any form of mini practice test and then you do it without your notes a little simulation also of course go to your teacher for help for questions i go to like review sessions i email my teachers or meet with them for help i feel like it might be hard to approach teachers but they are willing to help and don't be afraid to ask questions so editing amy is back i do want to add group study is so helpful your friends can help you out with stuff you don't know you can help your friends out it's a really great way to just like have a comprehensive review of everything i also do want to say that i did give a lot of test tips i don't always use every tip that i mentioned i honestly think it's based on how well you know the material and how much you need to study for something so i just use that as a general framework next topic is essays my biggest tip in writing essays is to do an outline i swear by the outline some essays you have to write about a specific prompt or event but other essays you have the freedom to choose so if you have the freedom to choose i just suggest picking something that is interesting to you because like i said before if your work is interesting you probably will have a better time doing it because you're just like naturally interested in that i will usually read a bunch of sources beforehand to see kind of how i want my essay to go i think it's kind of hard to give essay advice because literally every essay is different like if it's a personal essay if it's more historical essay or like a poli sci based essay but in general if you have to do outside research i like to do extensive research to make sure i have a good grasp on the material then from then on i'll make an outline you know classic five body paragraphs for the beginning and then from there on expand if i need to and if the essay is longer my weird thing with essays is that i usually write the thesis statement which is basically like your argument of your paper i write that at the end because i like to see all of my information and then from there on make like a thesis statement i think i'm definitely in the minority for this that just works for me in general just follow an outline then i do like a really brain dump first draft i swear my first drafts are pretty not grammatically correct at all and that's a brain dump from then on i'll just do revisions and then maybe another revision the main takeaway for this is outline and just getting all your information out and then you can always revise it i think the hardest part is just to start the essay but once you start like all your ideas will be flowing through also if you're writing an essay on a book my recommendation is while you're reading that book lag the quotes that you might want to use in the essay down or just what you think are interesting because especially in high school my biggest challenge or the biggest time suck was finding all the quotes that i had previously read and just like going through all the pages let's just go and make that easier for ourselves by just putting a sticky note next to the quotes that you think relate to the essay prompt or the quotes that may be of use in the future that saves so much time please Take that advice okay now we're moving on to what i do for readings i feel like this is more relevant in college but we do a lot of readings especially as humanities majors but actually in high school i was reading that a push textbook non-stop so i love to do readings on my ipad so i can annotate it and mark it up highlight it etc i definitely recommend that because i just cannot read on the screen on my computer it just makes it less fun if you have an ipad definitely would recommend the highlighting function since readings are so much the goal is to find the important and key information the most important parts are the intro and conclusion of each body paragraph as well as the introduction paragraph and then the conclusion paragraph i'm not saying that you should just be reading those sentences but a lot of the times that is where like the key information is i also like to highlight any key terms or key events that are useful in whatever i'm reading and then at the end of every reading i'll write like a two to three bullet point summary of what i learned and what the article is about sometimes it is easy to forget what you just read so right after you read it do a little summary that will help a lot and especially if you're using these readings in class discussion you'll be like reminded easily when you see and open up that document the last thing we have here are any type of problem sets worksheets just like regular homework problem sets are definitely more like quantitative math science based so i don't do that too much in general if you're working through a worksheet and everything it's really beneficial to attempt it on your own and then check with other people work in a group also consulting textbooks lecture materials i really don't have like that much advice on here i feel like I'm not too qualified to give advice on this because I do not really encounter that, but I did want to include it. Go to office hours. I know literally all of my friends who do problem sets go to office hours and get help. Those are all of my study tips. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Factor 75. The link and my discount code are down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.